what's going on guys this is jz welcome to the end game guide of diablo 4 this is going to be a quick one to teach the basics of diablo 4 end game content so let's get into it once you finish the game you will have the quest here the white quest here which will tell you that you can now unlock the uh, three difficulty and what you have to do to unlock that is you have to come here to the fracture peak to the safe zone and in the cathedral there you will have a dungeon which you have to play and once you finish that dungeon you are going to unlock yourself of the tier 3 difficulty then you can come here and change your veteran to nightmare difficulty and i would suggest do that right away because doing the end game stuff on the veteran difficulty isn't going to take you any further once you unlock the tier 3 difficulty of Diablo 4, you can also see this Fallen Temper, which requires 70 plus level to unlock the next world difficulty. So I tried it, but it is not possible at the moment. You need to be at least level 70 for that or slight below. Anyways, when you finish unlocking tier 3 world difficulty, then you should head to the hauser here to the whisper of priest or the tree of whisper and this is going to unlock the end game content for you and in order to explain it better to you guys if you guys are familiar with the diablo 3 bounty system this is something pretty much uh, similar to that what you have to do is once you talk to the tree of whisper the tree of whisper is starting to give you tasks that you have to complete and there are going to be different tasks that can be found anywhere inside the world of diablo 4 with icons looks like this it can be either uh, world activity dungeon cellar or anything else and it shows that you will get one grim favor reward or if you do a dungeon you are going to get five grim favor rewards and once you are going to fill the bar you can come back to the whisper of three and once you have the bar fill you can interact with the tree and it is going to give you some things like this they are going to call cultist refuge nightmare sigils so these are the nightmare sigils that you are going to get from the tree here and what it is going to do is let me just quickly show it to you guys if i let's say if i use this let's say if i have used this then it has unlocked a nightmare dungeon for me which is on tier 3 right now and the more you play the more tiers you can unlock actually and also you can craft that as well but these nightmare dungeons are pretty much similar to elder rifts or the greater rifts you can say from diablo 3 the higher greater rift that you actually play or you can say the higher nightmare dungeon you play the more rewards you are going to reap from it and the stuff that you are going to get from these dungeons are rare glyphs that you can actually use in your paragon glyph socket that can actually make you more stronger and also with more upgrades the range of your glyph can also extend but you have to keep on running those nightmare dungeons to keep upgrading your glyphs because these glyphs have replaced the previous system of legendary gems which were previously socketed inside your gear piece this is no longer the case now the legendary gems have been replaced with the glyphs here the rare glyphs that you can socket it inside your paragon tree and get different sort of buffs 
and there are a lot of glyphs that you are going to find inside the nightmare dungeon and the higher uh high nightmare dungeon you go the more points you will get to upgrade these glyphs to a greater level and they will also offer you more xp and if you guys are wondering how to get this sigil there are two ways one is that you can also get it by completing the tree of whisper bounties or you can say the task the grim favors so you can come here and collect some uh you can come here and collect some nightmare sigil from the tree or you can also find inside the dungeon from the chest from the monster i think that's another way and there is a third way as well which i will show it to you guys right now and the third way is the oculus but to unlock the oculus you have to at least play four nightmare sigil meaning you have to do some grim favors first and get some sigils from the whisper of tree to play nightmare dungeons and once you hit tier 3 the oculus is going to open to you and will allow you to craft greater nightmare dungeon from tier 1 to 5 it says you will unlock tier 1 to 5 it could be in between with three afflixes then also it shows you the requirement is world tier 3 world tier 3 and then there are for the world tier 4 that goes all the way up to 100 and also as you can see sigil powder is required this sigil powder if you do not know what the sigil powder is these nightmare sigils are the sigil powder you have to deconstruct them you have to salvage them let's say i have here this one this is rank three if i destroy this i get one sigil from it so once you have enough sigil you can actually craft yourself the nightmare dungeon key this is a nightmare dungeon sigil or you can call it a key to unlock a nightmare dungeon and you have to keep on running these dungeons to make yourself more stronger by upgrading your legendary gems or you can say the glyphs in this case in diablo 4 these are the legendary gems replaced by the glyphs so you have to upgrade them and also if you let me just explain one thing about the glyph here that it says the requirement is you need to have 15 percent intelligence to unlock the additional bonus which is casting an amusement skill reduce the active cooldown of another random amusement skill so what it means that this is the intelligence i need more intelligence in this area in this air, red area to unlock the additional bonus and also you can expand the area by upgrading your glyph through the nightmare dungeon this is why you have to keep on playing nightmare dungeon at a greater level so you can upgrade your glyphs at a greater level as well and there are going to be tons and tons of these clips you which, which you will keep on unlocking until level 100 and that is how the whisper of tree and the nightmare dungeon works and now let's talk about the hell tide hell tide is a hell invasion can happen any place in the world of diablo 4 and what it is going to do is it is going to turn the map red for for one hour and within one hour what you can do is you can visit this place here and the enemies are going to be much more stronger here but you actually have to play this so you can get some unique uh material from this the hell tide is the only 
place which offers you the forgotten soul so that you can upgrade your legendary gear to the final level which is i think five and you have to visit that and also there are chests being found inside the hell tide or you can say the hell invasion which you have to unlock by defeating monster there and when you defeat monster in the hell tide area then you are actually going to get some material from them which is going to help you unlock the chest that can be found on the map inside the hell tide area and through that chest you will find some legendary forgotten souls and there are three different chests one requires 75 and the second require 125 and the third which is the biggest chest require 175 of this material and that is pretty much it for the end game quick guide of Diablo 4 make sure to run those nightmare dungeon as they also have a higher chance of giving you a better secret and higher quality legendary items so yeah that's it for the video and i will see you guys in my next one until then take care have fun and bye guys